The first story of the day is about the Spain election. So I'm gonna explain it, I'll tell you what the news is saying, and then I'm gonna put my own perspective on what's going on. And you might just find that it's a little bit more honest than what the news is saying, but I, I don't wanna hate on the news because I, I haven't seen that crazy of reporting. Anyway, the election was in Andalusia. It's the southern region of Spain. It's right next to Morocco. If you look on a map, you got the southern tip of Spain and it borders Morocco. So Andalusia, it's um, described on the internet as having a lot of farmlands, you know, historic past, blah, 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 blah. They had an election, so it didn't go as planned. The news was planning for the Socialist Party and the left-wing groups to have majority in the government, but that actually didn't happen. If you combine the center-right, the uh, normal conservative party, and the far-right party, uh, it's actually the conservatives now who are getting a huge, or the right-wingers, who are getting a huge foothold in Spain. So what the media is saying about it, if you search on media, you're going to see far right, far right, far right, far right. Because there's a party called the Vox Party, V-O-X, not to be mistaken for Vox, the horrific far left uh, newspaper that wants to like uh, identity politics galore. I'm sure they want to ruin Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. That's Vox. That's a United States uh, publication. We're talking about Vox, the far right party from Spain. So... Apparently, it's the first time since 1975 that the far right has gained foothold in uh, Spain. They're trying to they're trying to tie it to Francisco Franco, who was like a right wing dictator of the 90s. But I, I don't know that that's really a good comparison. This far right party, Vox, you'll see a lot of reporting about it. They won 12 seats, so that's not that many seats. But they've never had the far right win seats at all in a long time so this they were like really surprised but they're like oh my goodness people like right-wing things i think they're anti-abortion and they're also anti-mass migration who would have thought so the reason they keep talking about vox is for multiple reasons the first one is they're trying to tie the far right to like fascist you know super dictatorship leaders like they do all the time but also it's because the socialist party and the left wing lost majority and they weren't expected to do that so in spain it's different than here you need 55 seats for a majority in the government of andalusia so the spanish socialist party won 33 seats but that's not quite enough because the conservative people's party won 26 seats the center right party won 21 seats and if you combine 12 seats from vox it's actually the conservatives who now have majority in southern spain so the media is going to paint this as the far right, it's so bad, they're freaking out here. I got a quote from the Prime Minister, Pedro Sanchez tweeted, uh, my government will carry on with its pro-European renovation project for Spain. So that's what they're calling like mass migration and the destruction of Spain. Now they're calling it um, European renovation project. It's like Europe's an art project. They're like, what if we took Europe and we brought in millions of people from countries where they hate Europe. Let's see what happens. It's not working. Their little failed experiment is not quite as successful as they want to say it is. But anyway, the reason that the right's winning in Spain, they're winning in Italy, they're winning in Canada, they're winning in Brazil, they're winning all over. Mass migration is not popular, especially mass illegal and refugee immigration. In Spain, they're like the migration and immigration capital of uh, Europe, you know, Germany, Spain, they take in the most refugees. When places like Italy went right wing and they said, we're not taking in any more migrants and refugees, Spain opened their arms and said, you know, we'll take them all in. We got them. Don't worry. For people that are new or that's never watched my channel, because this goes on YouTube too, I'm all about immigration. My family immigrated to the United States from Puerto Rico, Poland, Czechoslovakia when it was a thing. You know, I have family from Mexico. It's, it's not that immigration is bad. The United States and all of Europe, you know, we've immigrated. It's okay. Immigration is cool. But over the last 10 years or so, what they've been doing is totally different. They're not waiting for people to, you know, apply and get paperwork. And they're really vetting people to make sure they, they're going to school or they have a job. They've been forcing illegal and mass migration into Europe and the United States. But Europe, it's really been costly because... There's not that many people in Spain or Sweden, like it's a very small country on 
you know, considering how big United States of America is in comparison. So when you bring in hundreds of thousands or millions of people from certain parts of Africa in the Middle East and you bring in the wrong people, you're going to mess up Europe. It's not that people from the Middle East or Africa are bad. There's a lot of amazing people. Some of my best friends are from literally Africa and that's okay. They came legally, you know, they didn't just come over. So Spain has been suffering, Germany's been suffering, France has been suffering, Sweden's been suffering, the UK has been suffering because they have crazy ridiculous leaders who are like, put their blinders on, they don't care about content of character, they only care about virtue signaling and saying, we love all people, if you're, you don't agree with this, you're racist, sexist, and xenophobic, but they've seen a huge crime spike because if you study the world or you study many parts of the Middle East and Africa, they don't have the same moral and cultural you know, beliefs that we have. Like they don't treat women the same. They don't really, you know, respect all people like we say we do in America and Europe. So you're bringing in the destruction of your own country. So my thoughts is that, you know, I guess it's called Andalusia in Spain. It's right next to Morocco. There's a lot of videos of like huge boats of migrants just coming like literally dressed in all black. Like it literally looks like an invasion. I don't know. You tell me what it looks like when everybody's on the beach in bikinis and you have 50 like guys show up in a boat on Spain and just run out the boat wearing all black where you can't even see their faces. Like, looks like a, an invasion to me. I don't know. People say, that. no, that's not an invasion. That's it's migration. Um, but I'm guessing it's not very popular in Spain. I mean, why would it be? A lot of people live there. They pay taxes. And what happens in Spain and what happens in Germany and what's happening in France, why people are so upset is their taxes are incredibly high. When you have socialism and left-wing governments, they raise the taxes. They tell you, we're gonna make it better for everyone, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna take your freedom, we're gonna take your money, we're gonna force you into these healthcare systems, so your money's getting stolen, there's gas tax, there's carbon tax, there's this tax, that tax, this tax, that tax, and then their genius idea, this is why I don't, I, I have nothing I don't understand what, where the left wing's coming from. Like, it's one thing to do what Spain's doing, Germany's doing, what Bernie Sanders wants to do here. It's one thing to steal your own people's money and then try to redistribute it. I think it's a terrible idea, but I, I get where the ideology. What I don't get is every socialist from Spain to the UK to the United States, not only do they want to do that, but they want to bring in millions of people from Africa and, and the Middle East unvetted, undocumented, you know, whether it comes from Honduras in the United States or... Mexico or in the Middle East, they're coming from, you know, African and Middle Eastern countries, you're adding that to the whole social net thing you have. So you take like 30, 40, 50% of people's taxes, you keep adding more taxes, stealing their money, and then you're flooding the country with millions of people who don't really pay into the system, who just show up, but they're extracting from the system. So socialism, communism, and far left liberalism in the modern era is like literal suicide for your country. You're taking your own freedoms, you're taking your own money, you're taking your own rights in the many cases with the hate speech laws and the Orwellian like censorship of, of any criticism. And then on top of that, you're just burdening, 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 burdening the system, burdening the system with millions of people who aren't paying into it. And then you criticize people for speaking out against it. So Spain is pissed off. Italy's pissed off. France is pissed off. The UK is pissed off. Sweden's pissed off. Canada's getting pissed off. They're literally having liberal parties losing in Canada just like they're losing, the Socialist Party is losing in Spain, they're losing worldwide because, no, I mean, think about what that does. It's stealing your money, saying you have to pay this, we're gonna take your money, 30%, 40%, you're forced into the system, and then you're bringing in millions of people who don't pay into that system, who of course are gonna, it's a, it's a, it's a ticking time bomb of a political ideology. Nothing about it makes sense, it's not popular. Even Reuters and Newsweek, who are, you know, in no, rush to uh, give Trump or anyone credit are even admitting now that in Germany and many parts of Europe, the reason that violent crime is up, knife crime is up, you look at London statistics, gun crime is up, knife crime is up, acid attacks are up, rape is up, every bad statistic that you wouldn't want in your country is up, they're finally admitting it's because of the illegal mass migration from countries like Syria and Libya, where a lot of these refugees are not really from Syria and Libya, because that's what happens when your country's foolish like the people from Honduras I have a lot of Honduran friends no disrespect but these people in the caravan they're not seeking asylum seeking asylum means you're running away from a political you know establishment that won't let you speak out against them 
These people in Honduras, they just want to live in the United States. A lot of these people who are pretending to be Syrian refugees, but they're not really Syrian refugees, they just want European uh, socialism. They want the money because they know it's better than their country where they get beaten, you know, for, I guess, I don't even know if you're a woman, but they don't even, that's the weird part. They don't even let the women come over. They say they care about women, but it's like 90% men, so they're just leaving their women behind. But they want to come to the country that's going to give them money while other people are paying into it. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't understand, but I know that it's interesting to see in Spain that the far-right party of Vox, it's their first win in uh, whatever they call it, parliament, or I don't know what their weird name is in, in Europe. They got all different weird rules. It's the first time they've had representation since 1975. Uh, the conservative parties, uh, center-right, conservative people's party, and Vox combined, they have more than the socialist party, so they're starting to take over in Spain. This whole lie of globalism, like we love immigration, we love people from every race, religion, and gender. What we don't like is psychopathic leaders who start wars, literally then try to displace millions of people into America and Europe and don't care about the consequences. Like the liberals and socialists in the United States, they care more about uh, Hondurans and Mexicans than they do about Americans. Like my state in California, I say all the time because it's true, we have the most poverty in the United States. We have ridiculous homeless problems. Literally, my city's getting trashed. Every time I go out, it's more and more trash. There's more graffiti on businesses. There's more closed down businesses. Like literally, the city's going to shit. I mean, I'm sure it was always shit, and then it got better, and now it's going more to shit. Like there's nothing that's better about San Francisco or LA than like a year or two or three years ago. Like everything's kind of getting worse. I'm not, I'm not hating on it. Like there's a lot of good elements. It's safer than it was in the 90s for sure. But California, the liberals and the socialists out here, they have enough to worry about in their own state, but they don't even care about their own citizens. They prioritize illegal immigrants and, and fake asylum seekers from Honduras, Mexico, you know, Libya, Somalia. They prioritize them over their own citizens. Meanwhile, they're establishing a system that takes your money. That's what socialism does. It's not free. They say it's free healthcare, free education. It's your taxpayer dollars. It's a scam to get you to pay into a system and then they're burdening the system with millions of people from outside. They're literally psychopaths. It's like, we'll steal your money, and then if you try to speak out against it, we're gonna call you a hater, and we're gonna try to censor you. That's what they do in Europe. It's not working. Uh, I know the news is gonna twist us every which way, but people have to understand, I don't care if you're socialist, liberal, progressive, conservative, this mass migration ridiculousness is, is not popular. Immigration has always been popular. Uh, normal immigration is popular, but the president that they're setting, it's like a world destruction president where it's like super weakness. So they're attracting hundreds of millions of people from other countries and not the greatest people to come over illegally, immediately, undocumented. You're going to inherit the problems of the third world if you do that. If you do it responsibly, you can help people and help your own people. It's like if I want to, I, uh, I use this example all the time because I feel like it's very true. If I really wanted to help people and house people and I had a spare room, I'd bring in one person or two people, but I'd vet them, make sure that they're not going to destroy my house, then I won't have somewhere to live. So it's like, if, you, if I let in 10 people and I didn't vet them, I didn't figure out who they were, and they trashed my house, they started stealing stuff, and you know now it's at the point where I can't pay rent, I didn't help anybody. That's not help, that's not love and compassion, that's idiocracy, that's foolishness, that's weakness, that's pathetic behavior. That's what they're doing. They're not helping the Western, or I'm sorry, they're not helping the third world, they're not helping Mexico, they're not helping Honduras, they're actually, in many ways, from the policies of the establishment down to the ideology that they're feeding these people, they're sabotaging Mexico, they're sabotaging the minds of people in Honduras. In many cases on a, on a, on a war scale, they're destabilizing these regions and then they're telling people to come here and they're in, uh, incentivizing people to come illegally and they're incentivizing anybody to come for any reason to lie about it. Why not? Steal a kid, come across the border, they'll give you $10 million in a GoFundMe. There's no content of character like switch where it's like kind compassionate but i actually have a brain it's either like 
you know, complete delusion of like, no, I love everyone, so I'm going to ignore everything in the world and just let everyone come here. It's a suicidal strategy. Uh, congratulations to Spain for fighting against that. And it's, it's really not working anywhere. And I'm, we're going to talk about it in the next story, too. The next